Hi again, uh, this is Antonio Nieto Rodriguez. Thank you for joining us on the Harvard Business Review live webinar uh, around the Chief Project Officer on October 26. So as discussed and as promised, uh, I've gone through uh, most of the questions. First, thank you very much for the great, great feedback. Uh, We're so pleased that you enjoyed the session, that you found it thought-provoking. Um, again, like we said, this is a long term. This is not something that will happen, but we see a big trend around uh, projects, the project economy and, and, and the chief project officer. So let me just pick up the most frequent questions so that you can get a bit more details on that. There was questions around um, offers more around the chief transformation officer rather than chief project officer. Absolutely, that's the situation today. For me, that the reason for seeing transformation officer today um, is because we still have the mindset organizations still see transformation as something temporary. So when they will realize that transformation is permanent and the, the explosion of projects, um, I think they might change the name. Uh, so I'm not suggesting that this will happen 100%. But I do think that uh, projects will be there forever, transformation too. So um, I think we we'll need to uh, reconsider whether chief transformation officer is the right title. Uh, there's a question around, should the CEO always be the chief project officer? Um, I think to a certain extent, yes. The same as the chief uh, uh, executive officer is partially as well uh, the chief operating officer. Um, so there's delegation on both roles, uh, but ultimately, I think the, the ultimate project sponsor in a company is always the CEO, right? Uh, so that person needs to be at least aware and supportive of the major initiatives. They can delegate and they should delegate to the chief project officer, but they are still a key resource in projects, a key role. What kind of competencies are needed for the chief project officer? That's covered in the uh, Harbor Business Review article. Um, so we're going to put the link again, but you can see that one of the biggest differences is that this person is an orchestrator, somebody that has a good overview of the, of the current portfolio of projects and which are the priorities. The other thing is also about um, ensuring that revenues are generated from the project. So it's delivering the value, not just uh, reports on what's the status of projects. That's uh, in the past what the PMO were doing, they're currently doing too. Um, do we need to reframe the definition of the word projects in the future? Our project focused business initiatives. I, I always struggle with this. I understand uh, the challenge of, of projects. Projects are seen as not very strategic, uh, even project management. I struggle with that a lot uh, to get the recognition. I've worked for that many years. And projects, I think projects are more recognized. Everybody around you in your organization at home talks about projects. Uh, senior official politics, everybody talks about projects. So I like the name, although it doesn't mean the same as strategic initiative or transformation program. So uh, I, I'm, I'm not spending too much time on terminology, but there's a good point there on what's the right name of all of this. Um, <clears throat> does the CPO chief project officer need to have any certification? or what skills are needed, what books, articles you advise? Well, of course, I would advise to read my book here. Uh -huh. I think it already sets the uh, the tone of how I see project management evol evolving, re renewed, um, and, and how it plays a big role in the project economy. So definitely, if you can read my book, uh, HBR Project Management Handbook. There's lots of articles around transformation, skills of transformation, uh, leaders. Um, I, I Again, in the article, I highlight what are the skills. I don't think you need a certification. You must have a certification. Although I do think that uh, having a, a business management like a master or MBA, plus some other certifications around project management, 
project uh, professional Prince too. I just launched the project canvas practitioner or the strategy implementation professional. Uh, these are nice add-ons. I don't think they're mandatory, but they will briefly make you stand out and learn most of the skills that you need to have. Um, what, <clears throat> another question is, is the CPO needed because no one is performing their responsibilities? I, I do think that today there's a big confusion in most organizations about the number of projects, who is responsible, who's accountable. So yes, one of the priorities, one of the key roles of this chief, trans, uh, chief project officer is to make sure that there is clear responsibility, that there's clear uh, overview about what projects are we doing the portfolio like we said I said a bit earlier so definitely yes this is an important uh, um, responsibility for the CPO um, to make sure that there is a transparency a clarity accountability on all these projects do you suggest in, that in most companies operations will be abolished no, I don't suggest that. I think uh, we do need operations and every company needs operations, private, non-for-profit. Non non -for uh, we need operations. The thing that I'm suggesting is that we need less humans to run them. We need, uh, uh, we'll see more and more machines, artificial intelligence robots. So they're going to be more automated. They're already, operations are, are pretty much automated in many industries. What I'm saying is that we're going to see much more automation and, and many people working in operations will shift to work in projects. There's a question here. Sometimes as a project manager, you hear that there is no future for projects. I completely agree, disagree, sorry, completely disagree. I think uh, my research and, and other uh, uh, well-respected researchers have confirmed that the amount of projects in organization is booming. The amount of projects in the public sector to reconstruct economics and healthcare is 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 never been as much as as the next year. So no, definitely no projects and project managers are very much needed. What I'm saying is also we need other kind of project managers. We need other kind of project management, and that's what I address uh, in my talks, in the book, uh, and so on. Uh, isn't head of project management office and CPO, chief project officer, would be the same? Uh, I mentioned that in the talk and also in the article. There is some overlaps, but there's big differences as well. I don't think a current PMO can be the chief project officer. It, it needs to develop an executive mindset. PMOs today are mostly a reporting uh, office, right? Uh, dashboarding and, and building methodologies and governance, and uh, but not driving the change, not driving sustainability transformation or diversity or new technologies. This is done by other parts of the business. I think the chief project officer is a driver. It's somebody that will generate huge amount of revenues for a business. So I think we're far from that comparison. And obviously, PMOs have a step uh, in advance uh, of other roles, but we need to really step up and build that mindset, executive mindset, which I don't see um, happening yet. Uh, would the chief project officer role replace a role like head of innovation, head of sustainability? I don't think so. Um, I think this is compatible. We have today innovation and operations as well. I think it's a, it's a team effort, but what the chief project officer will be uh, looking into is, is making sure that there is alignment between all these uh, heads and, and departments working in project, that they, there are cross uh, collaboration. One of the biggest challenges companies face today is that companies don't work as business units and departments uh, struggle to share resources, to share um, um, uh, knowledge because they are afraid of missing their individual targets. So yes, definitely there is not replacement around uh, head of innovation, head of sustainability. It's just collaboration. 
Is such a leadership in conflict with CPO role? Not absolutely. I think on the contrary, the chief project officer would accelerate agile companies, uh, project-driven or, uh, organizations. So it's one of their, their, their responsibilities also to create flatter structure, more project-based teams, agile teams. So definitely not. Um, so that's all. I just pick up a few. Don't want to make this video too long. Uh, I think you can still watch the, the recording for a few uh, days. You can download the presentation on my website and, and hopefully you can also um, look more uh, into the book and, and, and the articles and, and connect. Please keep in touch. I'm always very keen in hearing new uh, ideas and also different point of views than what I talk. So uh, take care and, and stay well and, and keep in touch. Hasta la vista.